What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a team that has every single choice item on it. We got Choice Scarf Regilecki, Choice Specs Calyrex, and last but not least, we got Choice Ban Urshfu. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Please, actually, just subscribe. Take two seconds out of your day to support me as a content creator. It really goes a long way. I give a huge shout out to all my subscribers. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to go over question of the day. We're going to do question of the day in the beginning of today's video because I am super curious about this. But what are your guys' thoughts on the brand new items they just announced for Gen 9 in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon they announced three new items, and I think they are going to shake up the competitive scene like crazy. We got the Mirror Herb as our first item, which actually mirrors the stat boost of opposing Pokemon. So say somebody goes in Belly Drum, and your Pokemon's holding that Mirror Herb, it gets that plus six boost. Then you got the Loaded Dice, which is a really cool item. I feel like it's going to be definitely a cool item for Pokemon such as like Breloom, because they actually showcased it in the uh, trailer. But what Loaded Dice does is it makes multiple hitting moves have higher chances of hitting multiple times. So moves such as Bullet Seed has a chance to hit up for five times. If you have the load dice, it has a higher chance of hitting multiple times. And last but not least, I feel like this item might be a little bit broken at first until you start to learn it, but it is the Covert Cloak. The Covert Cloak, however you pronounce it, but what it actually does is it stops your Pokemon from receiving additional effects from moves. So moves like Fake Out does not flinch you. Moves like Thunder can't paralyze you. Moves like Blizzard cannot freeze you. But I feel like it's going to be so big up against Fake Out users because you know they're going to hit you with that clap. They're going to expect to flinch you, and then you're going to say, nah, I got this cloak on me. That's not going to flinch me. So let me know in the comment section down below for a question of the day. What are your guys' thoughts on those items, and do you guys like them? But with that out the way, let's get started here with today's scene preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Kieran Black with that life form and the Terrible as its ability. It's rocking Blizzard, Fusion Bolt, Earth Power, and Protect, and no Dragon Stab move. So hopefully, we can uh, still grab some big KOs with this Pokemon. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be our support in Didi with the Psychic Surge and the Safety Goggles. It's got Follow Me, Protect, Helping Hand, and Expanding Force. Everything is fairly normal for that in Didi. Middle left is going to be our Speed Control Pokemon. That is going to be the lovely Cotton Ball Pokemon, Whimsicott with Prankster and the Focus Ash. It's got Moon Blast, it's got Tailwind, Cotton Spore for even more Speed Control. Then last but not least, it's got Helping Hand to make Ally Pokemon do a little bit more damage. Third Pokemon, or not third Pokemon, fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex with the As One and the Choice Specs as its item. So this Pokemon can do crazy damage. Pair it up with a Pokemon like Ndidi or Whimsicott, make them use Helping Hand, you get the Helping Hand boost, you get the Stab boost, you get the Choice Specs boost. It's just going to be able to do some crazy damage. It's got Astro Barrage, Expanding Force, Shadow Ball, and Leaf Storm. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Choice Scarf Pokemon. It is going to be Transistor Regilecki with E Web, Rising Voltage, Wild Charge, and Balance. Then finally, we have our Choice Band Pokemon. It is going to be Urshfu. I feel like Urshfu does really good with Choice Band. It just does a crazy amount of damage. I love it all. Around. It's got Unseen Fist, so it can hit through Protect. Then it's got Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, and Aerial Ace for coverage. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Choice Series 12 team. Let me give you guys a little bit of a heads up. We are about 10, 8 to 10 days, I should say, out of uh, Series 13 coming out. And you guys know I'm going to be bringing you guys some content. So Series 13 content is coming very, very soon. I'm actually going to be dropping teams before Series 13 actually comes out. So you guys have teams ready to go when Series 13 comes out. So stay up to date with my content by subscribing and turning on those notification bells. But we're hopping into our first battle. We're going up against a nice little Zassi and Kyrie team with Rollaboom, Grimstarl, Thunderous, and Incineroar. If I had to guess that Thunderous is defiant just for more attack power, and I feel like I've seen this team before. But how should I play this one? How should I go into it? I could go into Calyrex with that choice specs. Kind of outspeed most. I mean, you could Grass Kite, but then he can't fix out. So, you know, I might just go Whimsicott. Or, you know, let's go Indeedy and Calyrex. I could probably just Helping Hand and do crazy amount of damage so i'm really liking them too rolling out with that squad i'm gonna bring urshfu in the back end because you know i just like urshfu. just does a lot of damage and then last but not least we're gonna rock out with this kirim let's lock it in let's lock it down let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one but yo the new items coming out in the game are crazy when i saw that trailer they showed a case a new move which i'll probably do question of the day for that in another video but the one they showed off the new items I was like, oh my god some of these items look crazy strong like i said the covert cloak or covert cloak however you pronounce it that one looks like to be the best, but the Mirror Herb's definitely going to get some value. I feel like Loaded Dice is definitely going get to get some value here, too. I cannot wait. I really cannot wait. But he's going to end up leading the Incineroar alongside with the uh, that little Thunderous right here. And he can't fake me out because I have this surge. And I could actually go for a Follow Me this turn, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I'm kind of leaning towards the Follow Me and then going into Helping Hand next turn. 
Because if I go into Helping Hand this turn, then I feel like my boy dies. My Calyx can just die. So if I can go for a follow me here, maybe I can get off two turns. It might be a little bit better. So I'm kind of leaning towards that. Definitely leaning towards that. So I'm just going to Astro Barrage. Or I could expand a force. Do double damage over there. But what should I do? I have to choice into a move. I think I might choice into this. This might be a little bit better. Just choice straight after that Pokemon. Get that double damage rolling with a Surge. But he could change the Surge with an Electric Move. Which really could stink. That could be a problem. That definitely could be a problem. That could be a problem. Because I really like this uh, Psychic Twain here. But I feel like he has to go for an Airstream. I feel like he has to go for an Airstream. I don't think he goes for an Electric Move. I feel like he Dynamaxes and goes straight for an Airstream. So, yeah. He's going to Dynamax. Um, I feel like the Throat Chop or Darkest Lair is going to come out from the Incineroar. And then the Airstream is going to come out on top. So we'll see how this one plays. We're going to see how much damage we can actually do to this Thunderous. Let's just think. We have a stab move, double damage in the terrain, and then we have the choice specs damage on top of that. Like, this move is just boosted. It's boosted like crazy. We're going to go for the follow me. Instead of has got to be going for the throw chop or the dark slayer, right? Or we could be going for a parting shot. Spanning Force comes out here. It's not going to affect Incineroar. And how much damage are we doing to Thunderous? Beautiful. More than half. I love it. I love it. Max Airstreams can come through here. And I wonder if he can outspeed my Calyx. We're able to soak. Which I love. And then what's he going to go into? And then he, I'm telling you, it's the Target Slayer or the Pardon. Or the uh, Third Chop, right? Target Slayer. So, Indeedy, see you later. Thanks for coming out here. You did a lot of work. But now my call here is probably go into Kieran White. Or not Kieran White, Kieran Black. And just Dynamax and get after it. Right? Probably my best bet. And then save my Urshifu for the back end. I do love me some Urshifu. I do indeed like me some Urshifu. But the problem with Kiram here, or this team I should say, is what's called kind of dumps on it, which I don't like. What is that Pokemon called? Uh, Zassian just dumps on it, right? Zassian gets right after it. I kind of want to go for Quake here. Do I boost Special Defense? I could double down into Thunderous, but I don't, I don't know. We'll just start play. I think I'm just gonna quake here. Because I know Calyrex still outspeeds what's it called. Still outspeeds cylinders. I do dig that. I do dig that. So I'm gonna end up Dynamaxing here. I kinda wish that my uh my air screw had a focus ash. Focus ash is gorgeous. But we'll see what he wants to do from here. He might actually swap in Cinnamon. He might swap in Cinnamon. We're at two or four oh two HP, which is amazing. Big chunk, but still not enough HP to actually take out his Astian. He's gonna go for an airstream. He's gonna boost his speed again. He's gonna go after Kiram here. Kiram's gonna be able to soak pretty well. And I still think that my Calyrex can outspeed that Incineroar. It's gonna be kind of close. It's definitely gonna be kind of close. I'm kind of hoping it can. It does. Beautiful. So we're gonna be able to take out his Thunders. We're gonna be able to take out his Dynamax here. And he's probably going for a Darker Slayer right here to take out my Calyrex. But Calyrex is kind of beefy. I'm not gonna lie, this one has like 180 some HP, which is a good chunk. But I don't think it's gonna eat it up. Like it's a glass cannon, right? It's definitely a glass cannon. If it could survive a turn, that'd be amazing. That would be amazing. But we actually outspeed that incineral. Can you KO here? Can you KO this thing? I don't think you can. Yeah, I didn't think you could. I did not think you could, but still, that's some good damage. That's some good damage. We got special defense boost. I'm terrified of this Zassian coming out here. I am terrified of it. I am terrified of it. Can you eat this? Please, Calyrex. I need you. I need you here, girl. I need you here, girl. Yeah, no shot. You're glass can. You get dumped on by everything and anything. So, I'm going to get dumped on by that. He's probably going to bring out Zacian. And I think from here... Oh, he has a berry, too. Come on, now. Why didn't that berry... Oh, we had unnerve. I was going to say, why didn't that berry come out beforehand? But, we have to bring out Urshfu here. And I feel like he throws out Zacian. Zacian is just a problem. I might have to max guard a shot. And choice into a close combat, right? Might be my best bet. Yep, there's Asian. Oh my god, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Do we think he's gonna protect? There's no shot he protects. He knows he has speed on me. He knows he's ready to rock. I have the choice to his close combat, right? Try to take out this Asian and then just max guard this uh this behemoth blade. Right? It has to happen. It just has to happen. It's our only way of winning this. We guard the shot. He does go for the blade into me. Urshru, I don't know if you outspeed. There's for you do out to be close combat. Can you KO, please? You do. That is a huge turn from us. That is a big time turn. We get a crit, too. I don't know if it was taken out with without the crit, but that's some big time damage. That is some big time damage. Let's see what he does from here. He's going to end up going for the parting shot. And okay, that's fine. 
I mean, that's a little fine. I wish I could swap or change my move. But he's going to pop out here. He's going to get the Intimidate on me again. Ah, that hurts his soul. And then from here, I'm just going to have to close combat that slot. And I think he has Kyogre, right? And I'm just going to have to Lightning the other slot. Sounds like my best bet. But he's going to have Grimmsnarl. Grimmy Grimm's coming out here. Okay. So I know I can take out... I know I outspeed both these guys. I know I can take out Incineroar with the close combat, but he does have Fake Out. Actually, we have Terrain. And hopefully the Terrain's not ending. Terrain, please don't end. I cannot allow this Terrain to end. This Terrain cannot end. Terrain's not allowed to end. We need a four turn. Okay, cool. We have four turn. So this close combat should still be able to take out, even though he's plus two. And then I think I just hailstorm and get off as much damage as I possibly can over onto Grimstorm a lot, right? Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. But yo, what a max guard from us. We read that Behemoth Blade coming in hot onto us. We had the block it, and then our boy Urshfu with a choice ban punched up on that Zassy and picked up the KO. I'm not too sure if it would have been able to pick up the KO without the uh, the crit, but it might have. But close combat comes out here. Finishes off the Incineroar. We love this Urshfu. I love Choice Ban Urshfu. I love it, dude. It's like Choice Ban Sizzle. Just hits like an absolute truck and picks up some big time KOs. That's going to happen here. We outspeed this Grimstorm, which is amazing. We're going to drop a Hailstorm. We're going to pick up some big damage. Get some buffets rolling. And is that KO? It doesn't, but we can legit protect next turn and guarantee the win, right? But just think, this, this Grimstorm could have Sucker Punch. Let's see what move he goes into. Probably a Spirit Break. Yeah. And that is just going to absolutely dump on him yeah he's gone and i think i just have to protect this turn i think i'm just gonna protect this turn and win this match off buffets play it safe right probably your best bet look at that a little bit of buffet damage we love it we love it we love it but solid plays from us we knew he was gonna dynamax that thunderous early on our calyx was able to do some crazy damage onto it and outspeed it which is good so i really do like that but we're just gonna be able to protect here here black comes in clutch i think i've been calling it here in white this whole time I think I haven't gone to Kieran White this whole time. But Kieran Black protects. And he's going to be able to clutch this one up with the buffets. So beautiful battle from us. Battle number one goes to us. And we get started strong here with the choice the choice team. I'm going to call it the choice team. Because we have the choice specs. We have the choice band. And we have that choice scarf. Going up against a crazy strong sun team here in battle number two. He's got the Groudon. He's got the Charizard combo. Umbreon thrives with Groudon as well. Then he's got Regilecki, Tornadus, and... Dacian. So we can set up some speed control with that Tornadus. I don't think I have Taunt on my Wimbiscot, which kind of stinks. I think it's Cotton Spore, Moonblast, Protect, and Tailwind, right? No, and Helping Hand. And Helping Hand. We saw that Focus Ash. I think I might want to lead the Wimbiscot, or I could lead a Pokemon like Regilecki. Regilecki's not too bad. Regilecki's not too bad. I just gotta watch out for that Groudon. Hmm. There we go, Reggie. I could just go in with, like, the speed Pokemon right here, but then he might lead a Pokemon such as, uh, Tornadus just takes speed, so I feel like I have to go in the Wimscott here. I'm gonna, win, gonna go Wimscott. I think I might actually lead the Kirim alongside with that, because that's a rather fast Pokemon, and he's super effective up against the Charizard. He has a move for the Regilecki, he has a move for the Tornadus, he has a move for the Zacian. So yeah, we gotta go Kirim here. It just seems like he does a lot of work. We will bring Calyrex in the back end because Calyrex is just an absolute beast. And then last but not least, I'm kind of leaning towards Urshfu. Do we have Urshfu or Regilecki? Reggie's not bad, but Urshfu with that Sucker Punch and that Choice Ban, I feel like it's just this crazy amount of damage. So, you know what? I'm going to go Urshfu. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But Urshfu, like, dude, he just did so good last battle. I feel like he deserves... He, he, he locked himself a spot in here for battle number two. That close combat was doing crazy damage. Even though we were minus two, was still able to take out that half health... Uh, What is it? That half health Incineroar, and it clutched up by taking out that Zacian. But that was a big time read by us, setting up that max guard. Blocking that Behemoth Blade and rolling out from there. But he's going to end up going into... Oh, I hate this little Pokemon right here. I hate that Zacian right there. Uh, What can I do up against Zacian? I mean, I can tell when I could Quake, but I don't think Quake could KO, right? Do you think Quake could KO? I mean, this is what I'm thinking, actually. I think we need the Helping Hand to take out the Zacian. So I'm going to Tailwind and I'm just going to protect this turn. So I can take speed from him. And then Helping Hand. So then I can outspeed him and I can get that Helping Hand. Because I feel like we need Helping Hand in order to take out this Zacian with the Quake. I feel like that's like our only shot. Right? Makes the most sense. So I'm going to protect the Kiram here. I'm going to see how this one plays out here. That one's coming out. Beautiful. He's got to be Behemoth Blading in the mirror, right? Now he gets in a Wimscot, which I have Focus Ash on. Which I do indeed have Focus Ash for. The focus hash coming out here. Let's see what Umbreon's going for. Umbreon, what are you going for? Snarl, yawn, yawn. Okay. 
Now I have to help him hand. Now I have to help him hand, and I have to go into Squeak. So that was my plan this whole time. I feel like it worked out pretty well. And now I can Quake, and if I get rid of Zacian, ooh, we could be sitting so good. We could be sitting so good. But Zacian's like the only problem. But not a bad call for us. So the Protect coming out there. I'm surprised he yawned us. And so, or I'm surprised he didn't go into Behemoth Blade onto me. I'm really surprised with that. But hopefully he, he's trying for it again. Hopefully he's not protecting. And I mean, if he is protecting, then he probably takes out my one Scott next turn. And we kind of just go from there. But then he might put me to sleep. I'm trying to think, is there anything we could do to kind of counteract the sleep? Oh, I could drop a Lightning next turn. Good drop Lightning. Helping Hand comes out here. And he ends up protecting his ass. So he is going to yawn me this turn. He is going to yawn me this turn, aren't you? Quake's still going to fly here. How much damage is Quake going to do? We get a special defense boost. Not too shabby. And we're going to be able to chip up a decent amount of damage. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. That is fine. I feel like another Quake should be able to take out. If he gives us that chance again, we're going to do the same turn. But I feel like I have to drop a Lightning if he yawns into me. He's going to yawn. So I have to drop a Lightning this turn. Lightning has got to come out here just so we can block that turn. Um, who could he swap into? He could swap into Charizard. He could swap into Charizard. Or even Thunderous to, to dodge the ground move. You know what? I'm still going to Helping Hand. He probably thinks I'm doing that again. But I'm just going to Lightning into the slot. Because again, I have to set the terrain so I don't go to sleep. So we'll see what he wants to do. He's going to withdraw his ass. Go on the Charizard, please. Go on the Charizard, please. I'll take that. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day long. So we're going to get off a super effective shot here. We're not going to go to sleep. And it's going to be pretty good for us. It's going to be pretty good for us. Look at that beautiful. Bring this thing down to Sash. Wimscott can outspeed it, but he's going to set up a tailwind, which kind of stinks. Which kind of stinks. But we set this terrain, so we're not going to sleep. Set up this terrain so your boy is not going to sleep. It's huge place. That is huge place from us. He's going to end up going for a taunt. I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. You're just keeping my Wimscott in this battle. We're just keeping my Wimscott in this battle. And then at this point, we can just go into a Moonblast. And then go into a Hailstorm here. Just so the Buffets can take out the Thunders. Because we're not Thunders, the Tornadoes. Because we know he's going for that Tailwind. We know he's setting it up. There's really no point of actually attacking that Pokemon. Because he's going to go first. Okay, I'm cool with this. I am cool with this. So, yo, pretty solid turns for our end. We kind of made a bad situation into a good situation by forcing him to swap out the Sassian. Tailwind in that turn. Dynamax and get off some decent damage. And then hitting that uh, electric terrain. And predicting the swap. Because I was just like, dude, he's probably going to swap into like uh, Charizard or Thunderous. He's going to end up swapping a Thunderous. And he's going to go into Groudon here. He's not going to set up a Tailwind. I'm kind of with that. Because then I can set this Hail. Oh, yo, I'm changing the weather. And then I can drop Blizzards for free. Oh, baby. Yo, I'm liking this. Moonblast is going to fire. Liking this a lot. Moonblast is going to chip up some damage. And can this... uh? Can this Hailstorm actually pick up the KO? This could be big time turns from us. This could be big time turns from us. Can this pick up the KO? Let's go, Kiram. Yo, Kiram is thriving right now. He is thriving right now. And I'm kind of hoping to... Oh, no. We take out our Whimsy. Take out our Whimsy. I needed my Whimsy. I like my Whimsy. We take out my Whimsicott, man. I was going to say, hopefully Tailwind end it. Which I think it does. So we can set up another one. But Whimsicott's dead. It's dead. <laughs> my cotton ball said, yeah, there goes my tailwind. I definitely need it for another turn. But uh, I think I'm just going to Calyrex here because Calyrex outspeeds. And we kind of roll from there. Calyrex outspeeds. The Zassian. It outspeeds the what's called, too. The Groudon. All my Pokemon should outspeed the Groudon. He's going to go back into Zassian. I think Astro Brash should be able to do enough damage to take out the Zassian. We should have the speed for it. Let me check its speed just in case. And then we should just be able to drop a nice little uh, Blizzard on top of that. Not too bad. Not too bad. I could have brought out Urshifu and predicted the protect and just go into like a wicked blow. But nah. He would have speed at that point. Calyrex really poses a threat onto him. So let me see your speed, Calyrex. 222. That should be that should be faster than uh yeah, and it's timid. That's as fast as Calyrex gets. Calyrex is 100 percent faster than Assassin. Unless it's Choice Scarf, but it's probably not Choice Scarf, right? <laughs> I'm going to go into this Astro Barrage. I think Astro Barrage should be able to take it out, and then we're going to back it up with a Blizzard. That's going to have 100% landing. But he's going to Dynamax the ground on here, and this is where the battle really comes down to the wire. Like, this th this is the battle right here. Depending on how this turn goes, I feel like this is going to determine the battle. But he's going to Dynamax the ground on. We're going to kind of hope that he's not uh, protecting his Zacian. If he is, he is. That's kind of fine. But I feel like Astro Barrage should be able to do enough damage with the stab boost alongside with the Choice Specs boost. Yo, not a bad battle. We're playing really well right now. 
playing really well right now. He's gonna end up protecting. Okay. I mean, that, that, I guess that's fine. Both my Pokemon out speed, which is really good. Ash Bash is gonna poke out here. So we are gonna get both our hits off on this ground, which is great. And then I don't think he can take out Kalyx. I think he can only take out my, uh, my Kirim, right? I think he can only take out my Kirim. So Blizzard's gonna fire. Can we get a freeze onto him? That'd be a big time freeze. Give me the freeze. Big iceberg. No, we don't get the iceberg. Who's he going after? He's gonna Phantasm. Oh, he has Phantasm. That hurts, man. Now that hurts. Only a, like, probably 1% of Groudons. Probably 1% of Groudons rock a Phantasm, right? Probably 1% of them rock a Phantasm. Rock a Ghost move. Get out of my face with that. Rocking a Ghost move. What's your speed at, Urshifu? 163. Okay, so I don't think a Sucker Punch can KO. I really don't think a Sucker Punch can KO his ass in. I think we have to block this, uh... I think we have to block, but I feel like he's he's predicting the block, right? I think we have to maybe go for a sucker punch. It's not very effective. We have to land this close combat, right? And I have to protect the Kirim. I don't know. What do I do here? I feel like I feel like that's our only way of winning this, right? Is is blocking this Zacian shot, but I don't I don't think it goes into my Kirim at this point. I think he's like because we because we blocked him the first time and we kind of outplayed him. But well, we kind of need to happen again. So I'm just going to protect the camera. We're going to go for it here. Go ahead. Behemoth played into me. He does. He does do that. You'd like that. Close combat's flying. Close combat's flying. That should be the KO, right? Yep. Zassian's going. Yo, the, the blocks on the Zassian, they are unmatched. They're unmatched. We are just ripping on the blocks. That's a big time KO. Big, big time protect. And what's he going to go into with ground in here? He's going to go for a rock voice. He's going to change up the weather. Eh. Okay. He changed out the weather, but we still have some speed here. And he goes into Kirim, which is so big. It is so big for us. I might have to try to land another Blizzard. It sucks that he changed out the weather because my Blizzards don't land 100% of the time. Because if it did, I could just double down on this ground on. But it kind of comes down to who his last Pokemon is at this point. Wow, we're playing so good. We're making some great calls. Great reads, great protects, great swaps. We're doing it all today. We're doing it all. Okay, so he's gonna poke out here. I think he might just tail him. You know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna double down in that slot, right? I'm gonna double down in that slot. I think he, I feel like he has tail in here, right? He does tail one. So he's gonna take some speed. Um, he's coming down to the wire here. Rockfall's coming in hot. He's gonna take out my Kiram here. Unless that thing safety goggles. Unless unless that uh, unless that thunder is the safety goggles. Then it goes down here. Close combat is going to fly. Some big time damage. Yo, Urshfu's going to lose, isn't he? It's not looking good for us. I wish I could change into Sucker Punch now, dude. If I could change into Sucker Punch, that could have been so big. That could have been so big, but he's going to outspeed me. He's going to do some crazy damage. Maybe he misses a move. I don't know. It's over with, though. Does he have one more turn left in Dynamax? Okay, no, he doesn't. Cool. All right. Um. Oh, dude. Our defense is minus two. It's minus two. I mean, we have to go into close combat. It's our only only option. Maybe he misses the attack. Maybe somehow we so we're able to soak up. Goes for blades. And I dodge. And I dodge it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. RNG on our side today. I want to apologize to our opponent here because he's definitely upset. But I don't know why he went into that move. I do not know why. Our last opponent is definitely not having it. He is definitely upset that he missed his precise blades, but he definitely should have went into a different move. My Urshfu was minus two on both defenses, so I feel like if he would have went into a Shadow Call or Rock Tomb or Heat Crash, I did check out his moveset, and that's what he had. He had Blades, Heat Crash, Shadow Call, and Rock Tomb, but I feel like if he went into any of those other moves, he probably would have been able to pick up the KO, but I might have done the same thing. Just drop the blades, get that stab damage, big all around, because I was basically full HP, and rolled out from there. But we take those wins all day. Urshfu is two for two on clutching up, and Kiram is two for two on the blocks on the blades. Actually, we blocked blades three times in today's video. He's just rolling out strong. He is just thriving here. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. We're going up against a really cool team. Solgaleo alongside with Yveltal. Definitely got to bring an Urshfu with that wicked blow for that Solgaleo. And then he has uh, Rillaboom, Contrary Malmar, Aurorus, and Golurk. Is that is that Golurk, right? Yeah, such a cool Pokemon. But yeah, Urshfu might actually have to get the do I lead Urshfu? Or I can lead, like, Calyrex. I feel like Calyrex thrives here. Let's go Calyrex alongside with... 
Indeedy? Well, let's take full full speed, right? Let's take full speed or I can help a hand here. We'll bring Kierman back in and then Urshfu. Probably my best bet, right? This team is just thriving. The only Pokemon we're not using today is Regilecki, but I feel like you guys see him actually like thousands of times. I don't even think it needs a Choice Scarf. Like, what, what does a Regilecki need a Choice Scarf for? Nothing, right? To outspeed other Regileckis? It's already like the fastest Pokemon in the game. But still pretty cool it's holding that item. I do dig it. I do dig it. Choice Specs works well on Regilecki. Like, yeah, I use that before. I really like it. I do really like it. But let's see who he ends up leading. He's going to end up leading the Malamar alongside with Eveltal. Eveltal, Eveltal, however you pronounce it. And, uh, okay, this is, this is looking a little, little, little tough here. No bueno. This thing could be Rocket Sucker Punch. Um, what do I do here? It's Rocket Sucker Punch. That's, uh, it hurts the soul here. It does hurt the soul. Yeah, I'm just going to do this, and I'm just going to tail it. Or I could Moonblast. So I think I'm just going to Moonblast. I think Evelta might even die to Max here. Gonna move us here. I'll tell when next turn. Ash Bash can come through. He's not sucker punching. Was... I'll tell when next turn. We're gonna be able to do this. Bang! Drop some big damage on Malmar. Bring it down to the sash. Bring it down to the sash. Bring it down to the sash. I'm surprised he didn't go for that sucker punch. Now Moonblast is going to fly here. And does that KO? Oh my God! Please do not be going for Oblivion Wing. Yeah, Veltal goes for Tailwind. So I'll tell when next turn. That's fine. Veltal goes for Tailwind. It's actually working really good unless it's KOs me does hurts the soul <laughs> hurts the soul now reg like he would have been a great call but who should i go into here i think kirim's gonna have to be our, our play here all right kirim tail went into a blizzard does he outspeed is real question so i'm gonna tail in here but i need him to outspeed right but i need him to outspeed because if not i'm gonna go for the blizzard too i'm gonna have some fun with this one I'm gonna have some fun with this one. We're tailwind. We are tailwind. Because if he goes for an oblivion wing, he gets back so much HP. So I need my boy to outspeed him. He's 161, and I know that's cutting real close with you, Balthal. That's cutting real close with you, Balthal. So we're gonna tailwind match him. Go ahead, Kira. Go first. Yeah, I'm gonna blizzard. Take out the. Okay, Malmar dodges it. Okay, cool. I'll take that all day. Malmar dodges it, but we get rid of you, Balthal. You, Balthal is a big time KO. We like that turn. We love that turn. It's a big time turn for us. I'm gonna take some life orb damage and I'm gonna have to Dynamax that Pokemon. Unless he hits me here. He's gonna hit, hit me here. Hurt soul. Hurt soul. So it looks like we're not gonna Dynamax him. I'm gonna Moon Blast into him. I know Wimscock can outspeed. And then I'll save my Dynamax for my Urshfu. Urshfu has been amazing in today's videos. It's been a stud. It's been a stud. He's gonna bring out Solgaleo. And yeah, Urshfu's definitely gonna get to Dynamax. Definitely Dynamax a little booger. So from here, I'm just gonna. Do I bank on the Blizzard landing? I could cotton spore everybody. Cotton spore everybody. Which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cotton spore all these guys here. Cotton spore. Actually, I probably should have went to a moon blast. I could have wasted out his tailwind turns. Should have went to a moon blast, but I'm gonna bank on my uh on my blizzard connecting. I'm a blizzard guy. I'm a big RNG gambler kind of guy. So I'm banking on my blizzard connecting onto the Malamar at least. And then my boy Urshfu should be able to do some nice damage. Unless he's ripping in with Steel Spikes. Which is definitely an option. Gonna end up protecting the Malmore. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul, but we're gonna end up Cotton Spore into uh, Solgaleo. That's kind of the only Pokemon I really want to do. So that's fine. Uh, and of course, it's Full Metal Body. I totally forgot. That one's on me, guys. That one's on me. Blizzard is going to get blocked and just freeze the Solgaleo, please. Nope, Solgaleo dodged it and we waste a full turn. Means it's horrible. It's embarrassing. He's gonna steal spike, take me out. Soul is hurting. Destructive. Uh, okay. What do we do here. What do we do here? We have to Dynamax the Urshifu, right? We have to Dynamax the Urshifu. Urshifu, come on down. You should be faster than uh Kieran, right? You are. So you're gonna outspeed us so good. I dang full metal body. <laughs> I totally forgot about it. <laughs> Don't act like it doesn't happen to you guys. Do not act like it doesn't happen to you guys where you guys forget some things. But from here, I'm going to Dynamax. And this is not G-Max. This is not a G-Max one. Ooh, that kind of hurts. kind of wanted it to be a G-Max one. Do you not have candies? You do have candies, but you're just not a G-Max Urshifu. Okay, it kind of hurts soul a little bit because I want to use your G-Max move. But oh, good, we're still getting after it. So I'm going to go here. I am going to go into... He could protect, which could be a problem. But I'm going to go into this move. 
And I'm just gonna move this side. Get rid of Malamar. Get rid of Malamar. So Wimscott should go first. The order should go Wimscott, Urshifu, Surveilio, and then Malamar. So Wimscott should just be able to Moon Blast, take out the Mals. I do love Malamar though, with Contrary. Really cool. Use superpower, gets a defense and an attack boost. Such a cool move. But I feel like Urshifu, how much damage is it really going to do to this plus one Surveilio? But I feel like it should be able to circle up a shot from him. Pretty good from us. And this should be his last turn in Tailwind, so we're going to fully take speed next turn, depending on what Pokemon comes out from him. But we're going to take out the Malamar. We're going to tell him to go home, get him on out of here, and we dump on him. So he's gone. He might steal something into my Wimscott here. Max Darkness is fine. We are proc and policy, which is kind of ugly. Real ugly, because that thing's soaked. That thing is soaking. That's pretty much wraps up the battle. Unless we guard, we can't even guard next turn, which kind of sucks. We can't even guard. He's going to end up going for Steel Spike into Whimsy. No, into Urshifu. Can you soak that? You do soak it, but my problem is he can't protect him. He can't dodge his last move. That's my problem. That's my problem. Because if we can dodge his last move, we can bring him out of Dynamax and have the chance of actually killing it. But I can't do anything about that. He's going to bring out Gold Lurk. Lurking of Gold's going to come out here. I think I just had to max darkness into this thing again. Just throw a Moon Blast into the slot. I have to do as much damage as I can. Hell yeah, right? I think that's an absolute must. I think it's just a must. So we're going we're gonna to throw a Moon Blast to the slot. Chip up some damage. And please go after my Wimscott, Silvio. Please go after my Wimscott. Drop another darkness here. Her soul. And I wish I could protect. I really do. Really do. But if he goes after Wimscott here, we have a shot. We have a shot here. Can go for Seal Spike into Wimscott, please? Nope, into Urshfu. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the match. Because there's no way this little Wimscott Cotton Ball is clutching it up for us. But he is minus two on special offense. But he is Steel. And Moonblast isn't really going to do much. I Man, I could stay in here. I could stay in here and see how my boy's going to do. But once he hits me with a Steel move, I'm dead. Once he hits me with a Steel move, I'm dead. This actually might kill me right here. No, Dynamic Punch shouldn't kill me. Should not. Doesn't get the confusion, right? It ducks me up, dude. It's giving me the ducks. Tailwind's gone. Yeah, we, we're not doing anything. We are not doing anything. Moonblast isn't even going to touch it. What is that thing? Minus two? I mean, I'm going to go for it. Let's see how much damage it would have did onto the Solgaleo. Whimsy outspeeds. Whimsy outspeeds. Let's see how much damage it, it's going to do. We're probably going to hit ourselves in confusion anyway. No, we do not. Let's go, Moonblast. Give me a crit. Do him dirty. He's minus two on special events. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, see, told you guys. I told you guys there's a steel move, and we shouldn't have ran, ran this battle and and uh, kept our little cotton ball alive. But now we have to watch it die up against a lion going full speed out the sky. <laughs> but there it is, guys. Two one for today's video. Not too bad. Grab yourself a winning record and got to showcase this team really well. The choice team prevails and grabs ourselves a winning record for today's video. Absolutely love this team. I didn't think I was going to do that good with it, but we thrived with it. We had the Indeedee and Calyrex teaming up for expanding forces and big damage with that. We had the Urshfu doing crazy amount of damage. I always love a choice band Urshfu. It clutched up in battle number one, and it clutched up in battle number two. And then we had Kieran Black over here. Kieran Black was phenomenal in Dynamax. I really do wish I had a dragon move, but I still like its moveset with the Fusion Bolt, the Earth Power, and the Blizzard. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.